Now at 530, as the temperatures rise well into the 90s this week, we not only have to take care of ourselves, but we also have to be mindful of our furry friends. And today we learned a dog died after being left in a locked car. Its owner can now be facing new charges under a new law. Eyewitness News reporter TJ Del Santo has the details that are new at 530. It's a common sense thing that we hear all the time. Don't leave your animals in the car in this kind of weather. Unfortunately, one dog lost its life today, and now the owner may be facing charges. Johnston Animal Control responded to the scene of a dog left too long in a car. The dog perished, and now the owner is facing charges because of a law signed by the governor just last week. Dr. E.J. Finocchio, the president of the Rhode Island SPCA, says the old law was difficult to enforce. A person could literally get away with it because it wasn't a willful act. The verbiage in the new law gives authorities more power to charge people with animal cruelty. If, if it's knowingly, negligently, willfully, intentionally, we will, it, it's a good weapon to have. It all comes down to common sense stuff. Keep all animals cool in this kind of weather. They should be in a home or in the yard under the shade with plenty of water and just let them go. Never leave a child or animal in a hot car. We watched the temperature soar from 90 to 130 degrees in under 12 minutes. Finocchio also recommends to not exercise your pets in this heat. There are signs of hypothermia to watch for. Panting excessively, you see a dog that may be a little bit incoordinated, the mental status has changed, and you take a temperature and it's 103, 104, you better take action immediately. Cooling them off is the key with cool, not cold water. Hose your animals down or put cool, wet towels on them and place them in front of a fan. If a dog becomes unconscious, bring them to a vet immediately. And if you see an animal left in a car, it's important to call the local police department as soon as possible. In the Weather Yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.